Alex Paulton. and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Today, I just thought we'd take a close-up, comparative, casual look at two very uh, famous but uh, very different black chronographs, blackface, white-handed, indices chronographs, the... Uh, Omega Speedmaster and the IWC Pilot Chrono. Um, one is a manual round chronograph, one is an automatic chronograph, but uh, they both have uh, reputations for quality and robustness, and uh, they both, of course, have uh, aviation uh, heritages. Uh, the Speedmaster was originally a racing watch that became a space watch, whereas the IWC uh, pilot series is known going as far back as uh, the Second World War. So they both have uh, strong heritages in aviation from completely different directions. And um, let's take a look at them up close together. Before I turn the camera around, though, please remember to subscribe. It really is important to the channel. So let's take a look. When you think about uh, two watches that have very similar descriptions but are very different in presentation, um, these are definitely two that fall into this category because uh, on the surface they are both uh, black-faced pilot chronographs. Uh, admittedly, this was originally a racing chronograph that became a pilot chronograph, but essentially we're talking about black face steel case uh, three dial chronographs, yet uh, one is uh, markedly different from the other. Now, I've often said that the Speedmaster is not the uh, best made watch, and it's not the most valuable watch, but it is the coolest watch. Unfortunately, IWC never really got involved in anything um, aeronautic to the point of uh, gaining its reputation within that space, but it did gain reputation as a workhorse watch during World War II as a pilot's watch. And also in the uh, post-war years, and of course to modern day, they're known as high quality pilot's watches. Now, both watches are highly visible. I mean, it's easy to see the time on either watch because of the white hands on black face, but strikingly the IWC is more visible. It uh, does an interesting management of its uh, colors, it's the sub the sub dials, the uh, totalizers are actually slightly darker than the uh, hands and indices, and um, the the watch is only loomed on the cardinal points on this uh, IWC. The Speedmaster is of course loomed on all indices points and uh, the hands as well. Um, and as I said, while highly legible, it's much more laid back than uh, the IWC Pilot Chrono because it's um, very, very uh, bold in its presentation and in a lot of ways is more legible and at the minimum has a little bit more uh, wrist presence, but that's also because in uh, it's a more hulking uh, piece. It's a bigger watch they both have uh pusher you know straightforward pushers uh, and they're not uh lock screw down or anything the iwc does have a screw down crown the um but the uh speedmaster can you could say it has uh crown guards um but i would say the and obviously in the case of this one it's got the hesolite crystal and this has got a sapphire crystal but you can get a speedmaster with a sapphire crystal um <clears throat> one of the bigger differences is that the iwc also is a day date it tells you the uh, day of the week and uh the day of the month and has a little bit of color with that little um red running seconds hand so um in a lot of ways, like I said, this has more of a wrist presence. It's a more impressive looking watch. And this one is much more uh, sedate and sleek. And if you put it on the leather like I did here, I mean, I've got the uh, metal strap for the Speedmaster, but I, this is also an Omega factory. <coughs> this is also an Omega factory strap. And um, 
I like to wear it on it because the black shows off the black very nicely. It gives a nice contrast. And having two similar uh, watches by having one on the bracelet and one on leather, it gives a little bit of variety between the two. And so um, they both have a lot of they both have a lot of character. Um, movement wise they both have movements that are known for their durability and reliability uh, not necessarily their refinement uh, the 3861 in this uh, Speedmaster for example can trace its way back to the Lomania uh, movements that inspired it which are known uh, rugged movements and the uh, IWC Pilot Chrono uses the uh, Valju 7750, another movement known for its robustness and uh, quality as far as reliability. Um, and IWC does uh, decorate it nicely and uh, rework the movement so that uh, it expresses their personality. I mean, it it is a, a 7750 movement in here, but it's not the same one that you would find in another uh, Swiss watch from another company um, because of the way IWC reworks the movement. In some models, they even uh, replate the movement as well. I have a video on an IWC pilot where the, compl where the movement was reworked and uh, plated. In this one, it was reworked but not plated, but I also have a video on that where we open it up and look inside if you'd like to look. There's also a video on this one. Um, I didn't open it up to look inside. I should do that the next time I do a revision of this uh, review. But as far as it goes, these are both great watches and would be of value to anyone's collection but it's a perfect example of how two watches with very similar uh, styles and intents can be so different so um, let's take a look at it on the wrist full uh, wrist watch check I'm wearing my um, Tag Heuer Carrera 2 skeleton uh, I like this piece it's a good uh, day-to-day -day, you know sports watch um, it's got a you know black and blue ceramic bezel just all in all a really sharp piece column wheel chronograph so let's uh, pop this off oh and speaking of bracelets the um, IWC has a very very nice feature in that you can adjust it on the fly by just simply pushing the button in the middle of the clasp as you see it's got a, a ratcheting section in there that allows you to adjust it on the fly at any time which is great for a hot summer day your, your wrist swells up a little bit or let's say it gets cool and your wrist shrinks you can just constantly adjust this watch on the fly the bracelet is awesome and it's nice and massive and supple um, it is a heavy watch to that uh, extent but some people like that let's put it on the wrist And as you see, um, I've got a, um, what is it, I believe it's a 19 centimeter wrist. Uh, and it looks good on it. This is a really uh, sharp watch with a lot of wrist presence. It sits tall. Um, the Valju 7750 is a big movement. But uh, all in all, it's a really good looking piece. Now, the, uh, like I said, I have the factory leather deployant clasp on this with the factory uh, alligator strap. And uh, with the leather, it's much more discreet, but it's also a big watch, 42 millimeters. Um, we'll take the calipers to it real quick and just double check both. Um, and it's, a, it's also a nice wrist presence, but it's not as big and bulky as the IWC so um, looking at it size wise it's 42 it's it's called a 42 but because of the way the uh, case swings around with the extra swelling for the protection for the crown yeah there we go 40 42 um, it's sometimes hard to get a measurement Thickness, 
it's a 14, which is, you know, um, a little thick, but it is a chrono. And the dome of the Hesselite, which is, I like the Hesselite. Number one, it's uh, authentic to the original Speedmaster. And two, I just like the way the light plays with a Hesselite crystal. The um, IWC is a 43 millimeter, so it's slightly larger. And it's only a millimeter thicker, but it really, really looks thicker and more robust. How It's amazing how just a millimeter of size difference can change the way a watch looks. So between the two of them, I would say that this is the more classic. Um, it presents a little bit uh, cleaner wear. Uh, it's more distinctive in uh, its recognition for its history, and um, all in all, a good chronograph. Uh, I think that the IWC is a little bit more robust. It's It feels better made. It's more legible in some ways, and it's a day date with an adjustable clasp. I mean, they both have metal bracelets, and um, the new Speedmaster has a folding metal clasp, but it's not adjustable in the way the IWC is. So I would say the IWC is a better all-around watch, um, a little on the heavy side, and the Speedmaster is the more sophisticated with a better history and um, works well with all kinds of straps. So thanks for taking the time to watch. Let's uh, flip the camera around and close out the episode. So, that was the uh, Omega Speedmaster and IWC Pilot Chrono side-by-side uh, side, up close together. Like I, like I said, I've got uh, videos on both of these watches separately, and um, now we've got a video of them together. Glad you took the time to watch. Please remember to subscribe. It really helps. Mm -hmm.